everyone, welcome to my channel. Hope you're safe and well. I have two unboxings to do. This is the first, of course. Let's get this open and see what's inside. I have a key. Now these keys are very handy if you're an airsoft player. And you have high capacity mags with the key functionality because it saves you winding a wheel and I'll show you that in a minute. Got a polystyrene packaging. Another piece of polystyrene packaging. These are magazines, and no it's not an AK magazine. This came out many years before the AK was invented. High cap magazine with a little hole in it and the wheel I was talking about. That's how you wind up the clockwork mechanism that pushes the BBs up to the nozzle so there's a constant supply. Or you can put the key in and just turn it. So they're quite good, they've got a little hole in the butterfly. Put a chain through there, keep it in your combat vest, attached with a lanyard and then you can take it out use it, doesn't matter if you're in a skirmish, you can just pull that out and let it dangle, you won't lose it. Metal magazine, not exactly sure how many this one holds, but it's somewhere in the region between 300 and 500 rounds. Comes with a sling, Waste of time, one place for that, the rubbish bin. This I've never understood. It comes, most of these come with a little bag of BBs. One place for these, no other place in the bin. Now this one happens to come with a UK style plug into the mains, connect your battery up and it's supposed to charge your battery. One place for this, one place only, the bin. Now it does come with a battery. Uh, according to this, these are nickel metal hydride batteries. 1100 milliamp, obviously 8.4 volts. Now this is a stick. It's called a battery stick. Nothing wrong with these at all. Now of course you can get a LiPo. But as you'll see later, this replica is actually designed for a stick type battery. And if you have a decent charger, you could set it to nickel metal hydride. You could set it for the number of cells and the size and charge it. Nothing wrong with the battery at all. One place for this, down with the magazine. Classic rifle cleaning rod. <laughs> Goodness me. A uh, little, I don't know what you call them there, a little slit here in the end, put a bit of cloth in it, wrap it round just like you would on a real deal. Then you can clean out your barrel. This end has a chamfer on it. This end see there if it focuses let's get it in focus is for blockages so if you've got a bb stuck you can ram that down obviously take the magazine out ram it from the front and the bb will drop out handy to have but you can't carry them around when you're skirmishing unfortunately so if you do get a jam if you've got one it'll be in the car so you have to go back to base but they're worth keeping, they're worth hanging on to. I've got several. Then we've got the manual. 
and this is an AGM replica and it's commonly known as the MP44 or STG44 so the manual itself basic warnings about not to point and shoot people don't carry it around in the street don't shoot it from your car you're going to be arrested don't just point it at anyone and shoot don't mess around with it when there's people in line with the barrel etc etc watch out what's behind your targets if you're used to any form of firearm be it a replica or be it the real deal you will know about basic gun safety from my perspective you never point a weapon, be it real or replica, at anyone or anything unless you intend to shoot it. Not necessarily hit it because I'm not that good, but there you go. Um, again, you can carry these in a gun bag, but you can't carry them around uncovered. Talks about, this is quite good common sense. Don't walk around with your hand on the trigger. I've actually been guilty of that. It's a hard lesson to learn, but learn it you must. The parts are all listed. Nice photo there. How the full auto and semi-auto selects are done. How to dismantle it in order to install the battery because it is electric not gas how to load and attach your magazine here's a bit about using the uh, key uh, this talks about sight adjustment Oops. a little bit about the operation hop up a hop-up is basically a little piece of rubber that nips the 6mm plastic ball and it nips it to give it a spin. Now if it's spinning too much it will fly off upwards or downwards. So you have to adjust the hop-up to try and get a level flight. Now the reason it's a spinning ball is for well to improve accuracy as you all know smooth bore weapons which these are are not very accurate so by putting the spin on the projectile it helps stabilize it in flight pop-ups tend to vary in quality there we are that's the instructions on how to get rid of a jam and below are instructions on how to clean it yeah, AGM is the make. What did I say we've got? We have a full metal, and it weighs a lot. Real wood, this is real wood. STG44. It's said to be the original assault rifle. Before this, there was no such thing as an assault rifle. An SG, I'm not good at German. Let me see if I can... Whoop, that's too heavy for that. Turn that over this way. Um, let me see if I can pronounce this. It's a Sturmgewurt. Sturmgewurt 44, which is actually assault rifle 44. And of course it's developed in World War II. It's also known as the MP44, which is something like uh, machine and pistol. Uh, so 1943 to 1944 by Nazi Germany. It's a very good weapon. And back in, back in 1944 it'll cost you about the equivalent of 550 euros. So really it's quite an expensive um, piece of kit. Yeah, so it's known as the first assault rifle, the first true assault rifle. So what features does this one actually come with? Well, you can unscrew this end here. It's a screw thread. You have to push that spring in there and turn it. I suppose you could put a suppressor on there, but why would you bother? Um, all metal foregrip. 
sling attachment. I have a sling coming. It actually uses the same sling as the Mauser bolt action rifle. So they've got that in common. Let's get the magazine in there. Big magazine. There it is with the magazine in. Look at that. It's a big heavy thing this is. Push the button there, the magazine comes out. So this is the magazine release here. Uh, sights, you can adjust those by squeezing in and you push a little barrier and they come up or down. It's a little barrier, a little barrel really. And you can bring them back down. Uh, it does have a bolt, charging bolt. It's really for show. Doesn't actually do anything. And on the other side of the body here, you can flip that open. And this is where you have your hop-up wheels. And the bolt actually doesn't do anything. This is your fire select. Now, the immediate action I see on this is to either push it up or down, but it doesn't. It actually slides forward and back. And that's it. That's semi full auto. Obviously you've got your trigger guard, trigger, grip. It's almost like a Bakelite grip. This is real wood. And it actually, this replica actually has the place where you would put your oil. You keep your oil in that, in the stock there. This is the hole for the sling to go through, and this is the cutout where the sling buckle rests. Now to get to where you need to put the battery, this here gets pushed out from this side. It's extremely stiff. I've been wearing it down to try and get it out, make it easier, but it tends to get stuck there at the moment then you have to give it a good almighty pull to get it out. So uh, this is the pin and I've been filing it down but I think it's actually this piece. This is so large. But we've got that out and then what you do you separate here. So here's your connection for your battery and your battery slides down there into the stock like so and then this gets folded into there out the way And to put it back together, you just marry those two up, get it level, and push this pin back in. Yeah, but it's a good item to have in my airsoft collection. I don't skirmish anymore, I just collect. And it's really heavy. I cannot stress how heavy and solid this thing feels. There is no giving it at all. It's rock solid. So thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay well. And I'll catch you on another video soon. Cheers, everyone.